Sorry about what? I was a trophy wife. Okay. That was the reason I got divorced. Okay. Uh, the last Las Vegas Super Bowl. So he paid and took care of you. <clears throat> I'm sorry. He he paid for you and took care of you and you stayed at home. He paid for all yes, everything with the yes, money. Yes. Okay. And for example, for me, he works and he travels a lot. He had okay. a company. He's uh -huh. very successful. Yeah. But for me, birthdays and Mother's Day, like that's the five days a year are important for me. Okay. So for example, I hope he don't see this. So he took care of you for 361 days, but you're mad about five? No, let me... No, let, I think can, he took care of her for five, and he ignored can her I, for 360. 360. Yeah, the other 360. Can I speak first, and before you don't interrupt me? Thank you. What? what whoa, 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 Let me say my point, because on, I'm very upset whoa, 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 about let me, it. Let me, be, let me be very clear about this. Don't do that. I'm you're sorry. on my fucking podcast. Don't ever disrespect me like that I'm again. I'm sorry. I'm not your ex-husband. Don't talk to me like that. I'm sorry. Don't forget where the fuck you're at. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Tell your story. So basically, for me, dates are very important and was Valentine's and I was in the school. He was traveling a lot. And I said, what are you going to be for Valentine's? He like, I'm going to Las Vegas for Super Bowl. Man, that's fucked up. That, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. And I Her was, husband's be like, hey, hey bitch, I'm going to be at Valentine's <laughs> Day for fucking Super Bowl. Deal no, with let it. me finish to say. I'm sorry. So I always say, like, my, my rich goal is to get this back. This is my back. After this back, I can die. You know, like, this is my rich goal. Mm -hmm. So he like, do you mind if we celebrate Valentine's one, like, one week before? Mm -hmm. In my city, you're going with your lover, fucker, hawker one week before. <laughs> because actually, <laughs> the Valentine's Day, you are with your wife. So he mm. talked to me that day, and he gave me the back I wanted. So in Valentine's, I spent alone with, in my house, crying. Because he was in Las Vegas fa having fun with his male friends. Mm -hmm. And I was alone to my house. And I can tell you, like, my birthday is he... Like, huh, happy birthday. Like, we're going somewhere. Did you didn't book anything? Like, want me to book anything? Yeah, you had the credit cards. Book something for you for your birthday. Like, can you make a surprise for me? Can you book me something? N never. Okay, so... That's a little you, fucked up. You didn't like that end. he went to the Super Bowl on Valentine's Day and that he wasn't around for your birthday? She gave him children, too. Yeah, that's even more so why I think... Well, okay. So, you don't like that he wasn't around for Valentine's Day and your birthday? Those two days? Mm, yes. So, two days of the year you're mad about and you're going to throw away the other 363. No, days. the thing is like... um, How I can say that? I'm very chill. He used to travel a lot. And yeah. I always say, go with your schedule to these days, don't travel. Uh -huh. I told her, like, she's had the boyfriend more than I saw my husband the last year. Yeah. Because he was going to Naples with friends. He had a house in Fort Lauderdale to see my friends. He got to the jail with the friends. Like, basically, during pandemic, he didn't suffer. And I didn't see him pandemic very often. I probably, in the two years, I see him three months. Okay. Like, oh, wow. so, but you didn't work, though. No, he took I took care did. of you. Yes, I, he did. So you do realize that with higher status men that are able to take care of you, that are traveling, whatever, what comes with that a lot of times is you might not see them all the time. That is the thing where I say I'm not a part of the 5% of the things that women want somebody to take care of it because I got in the points, like I got in meetings and people ask me and I'm Mexican. You You're know? married with him for 12 years, you said? Uh, we were married for 10, seven years. We were together for 12 years. Okay, so you met him when you were, you're 32 now. You met him when you were 20. Yes. Okay. Um, and it's you got enough. married and you got married at what? At how old? I was 27, 27 when you got married to him, 27, 25, something like that. Okay. Yeah. 25 probably makes sense. Yeah. And he took care of you the whole time. Yes. Well, here's the thing. Bro. You just got on the dating market at 32 years old. You're going to realize why you should have stayed with him. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I am agree. And seriously, I'm kind of saying I'm strong, struggling, not for like situation of money. More for like be divorced is a big thing, and more like today's culture. Even I lost friend because I'm divorced. They ask like still the husband. Let's just say that way. And also, the things um, I always get bothered bother because I'm Mexican, and we were in a meeting with people, the like important people that like, you are the husband of, you are the husband of, you are the wife of, and I really want to be somebody for my own. You know, I didn't want to. Oh, you are the wife. Bruh. And what do you do? And like, yeah, but to be honest with you, no one really cares about women's accomplishments. 
Fuck. No, There's a reason why women take a man's last name. Like what you're chasing doesn't matter. Some... Like what what really matters is being married, having a family. Having I think children. that's what she's saying. She's yeah, kind she's, of saying at the at. She's at, saying the title of having a husband is important. Is important. At, in those contexts. Right oh, I thought she said. I thought she said it wasn't important. No, no. That's no, no she no, to make she was saying. Legacy. She was yeah. saying that was embarrassing. It's embarrassing because yeah. she was like. I was at this place, and she's like, "Oh, I'm the wife oh. of X Y Z. I'm the wife of X Y Z." Oh, okay. And she, she has her. to sit here and be like, "I'm." But divorced. don't worry, she has MLD now. No. There you go. Don't worry. Yeah, but like, do you, you really Japanese? think? I mean, you like sushi. I, I'll be honest. Like, <laughs> that, that was a bad move to to leave your guy that you've been with. Because here's the thing: he took. You know who takes an L here, right? It's you. He had you during your best years. He's in his prime Yo, now. He's in his probably. prime. You're on your decline. You're 32 years old. You divorced but, him. He had money. He took care of you. Now, any guy you date yeah. at this point. You're not going to find another millionaire. But, no, You're but, not going to find a guy that's going to take care of you, you like that. You can't say that. She may possibly No, but who? Yeah. I'm right here. I'm right here. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. I'm right here, bro. What the There's fuck? one right there. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You, hold on. you just said a key word. You said it's what? A possibility. possibility. Okay, sure. but is it probable? Nope. Yes, it is possible. A no, possibility it's not is probable. probable. Yes. No, no, no. It's, it's possibility it's means it's two different definitions. Yeah, two different, definitions. Two different things. Separate. Just because it's possible doesn't mean it's probable. This is the delusion that females have. Women think just because it's possible, it's probable. No. It's not probable because the men that she's vying for that make the kind of money that her husband made before, those guys are chasing after 21-year-olds, not 32-year-olds. Not men always. Want men, no, most in general, of, yes, in general, I would say yes, most are, but not. you can't say that everyone when is like that. When a man like reaches a certain status and income level, they want to demand the best women that they can get. Men overwhelmingly prefer women that are young, beautiful, and youthful and attractive. That's what men look for. We don't give a fuck about money and status. Who has this in abundance? Younger women. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here's the thing. She's 32 now. She's not going to be able to compete with a girl that's 22. But I had something today that like, I didn't have in that time. I go to sleep and I feel good to myself. I was educated different. I came from a very traditional family and I really feel like I was selling myself to be in a place that wasn't mine. Yeah. It's kind of so like today you... I had, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I had my dignity and I feel good to. Because I was feeling alone being with someone. So today I'm alone, but I know that person is not there. So it's different for perspective. Okay, it's so, kind so of like you I'm guys curious, are saying right? that like, a woman like, should stay as, in a relationship at some point, to be at some cared point, for. Right? Understand, your dream or, for example, your lifestyle where you were living, most women would die for that. For example, yeah. Yeah. be taken care of. Yeah. You, you it's probably not going to happen again. You pick but it's not it's 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 Of course. But notice, right? Women will always complain at the most smallest things now mind you i get it you want you want quality time with your man understandable but he's busy working for you and for him so ultimately you're getting the dream life but at a cost yeah versus yourself you work yourself and then you're single it's kind of like what what end of the coin do you actually want of course and i assume the cost yeah. and i can say for are you getting alimony i do Oh, Dios mio. Yeah. That's why I don't I, feel sorry for you at yeah, all anymore. Yeah. She's getting alimony and then you probably How getting much child alimony support too. are you getting there? Child support and everything. Yeah. That's why she was like, I'm gonna this is why I'm trying to say divorce is like a terrible Can we switch sheets of her and Ling Ling? It incentivizes, uh, <laughs> it incentivizes women. The reason why she felt comfortable to leave is because now she has th these training wheels on of being able to be supported by the yeah. guy and without you, having to And you said earlier it. you give good advice. That was dog shit advice. What what oh, advice did I give? You said device to her. She said that she probability. She said earlier oh, that she no, possible. I, uh, she possible. Possible. I, she said, I definitely firmly said, believe that a woman doesn't have to base her whole life on someone else taking care of her. That's why you Women single. can take me. Oh, no, I single because <laughs> I actively choose to because I am not going to settle not to cow. just be in a relationship not the cow. just to be in one.